Hypo, trans, and whiplet are all recessive genes. And that's what we're talking about. The gene we're gonna focus in on is the whiplet gene. So how do I prove out my 66% possible head whiplet? Now, what I'm trying to get from these two is I Say it louder. Peace out, Wilgomas. Get excited. Peace out, Wilgomas. All right, there we go. You ready? What's going on, world? Peace out, Wilgomas. I'm Dave McClain, co-owner and CEO here at Lizard of Oz LLC. And of course, as always, I have my lovely assistant, Demi Cherie, the Pagona Princess. Tell them, hey, baby. Hi. All right. And today, before we get into any videos, I just wanted to show you some of our merch, okay? I have on the Brick Red Production t-shirt. Got MJ the Dragon on the front, MJ the Dragon on the back, okay? And Demi is wearing the My Dog Ate My Homework t-shirt. Now, as you can see, this is obviously not a dog. That's part of the joke. If you don't get it, we also have the I Never Did My Homework t-shirts, okay? I'm also rocking some Dreams, Dream Music Gemstone braces. As you can see on one wrist, I have the Appreciated Jasper, okay? This is one of my favorites, actually. And then on this wrist, I have the African Bloodstone bracelet. All right, I'm gonna include a link in the description for the uh, Dreamstone. I mean, for the Dream Music Gemstone bracelets. And I'll also include a link in the description for the uh, merch that you see us wearing today. All right. Now, like I said, the merch that we're, we're producing is for the real reptile addicts, the people who really love it and are passionate about the hobby. And of course, all the merch purchased supports the channel and supports the business. We're trying to go from a basement to the build to a building this year, guys. And we know you. We, we appreciate you helping us make it happen. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our video. What's going on, world? Welcome to the Lizard of Oz LLC. You know who I am, but if you don't, I'm Dave McClain, co-owner CEO here at the Lizard of Oz. Okay, and as you can see, I have some beautiful dragons soaking. Now I already have an update video, uh, basically on these these three clutches here. So if you haven't checked that video out, don't worry, I'll put a link in the description so you can. Um, but in that video, I basically, you know, pull out individual dragons, show you individual morphs, etc., so forth and so on. But what I'm trying to do in this video today is I'm actually trying to show you guys uh, or, or talk to you guys a little bit about hets, possible hets, visuals, and proving out your possible hets, okay? So let's just focus in on this clutch right here, okay? Now this clutch, I have in three buckets. Why do they look so different? They look so different because they all are displaying different genetics, okay? But we're gonna make this a little simple. I don't wanna make it too complicated for you guys. Like I said, this is just an introduction to uh, heads, possible heads, visuals, etc. And we're gonna focus in on one gene in particular and that will be the Whitwit gene, okay? Okay, but this is a hypotrans whiplet, okay? Yes. I know you're tired of being in the war. You want to get in. I got you. I'm about to heat you up in one second, baby. This is a hypotrans whiplet. Hypo, trans, and whiplet are all recessive genes. And that's what we're talking about. Recessive genes, okay? Now, the translucent refers to those black eyes, this translucent-ish look it has to it. It looks like you can see through it. Another indicator of that would be, if I can get him to cooperate, his blue belly. Look at that. See that belly? The hypogene is hypomelanism. It refers to dark pigment, uh, lack of dark pigmentation. An indicator of that would be these white nails. Okay, and the whiplet gene would be how he has no pattern. He's a patternless dragon. Now, not to be confused with the zero gene, which is also a recessive gene, the whiplet gene uh, causes the dragon to have no pattern. But it does still allow the dragon to retain color, unlike the zero gene, okay? I am actually more preferable of the uh, whiplet gene. I prefer the whiplet gene over the zero gene. I feel like there's more potential there because you can work with different color morphs and produce different color variants of this gene, okay? But that's just my personal opinion. I'm team whiplet over team zero, but I do like them both. I think both are amazing morphs. Now, let's just talk quickly about, uh, like I said, uh, visuals, hats, and um, how to prove out possible hats, etc. Okay, so 
the gene we're going to focus in on is the Whitblet gene. Okay? Now, these babies, its siblings, since they're not visual Whitblets, are 66% possible Het Whitblets. Why are they 66% possible Het Whitblets? Because both of the parents of this clutch were Het Whitblets. So the 66% possible Het is basically the result of pairing two Hets together. Anything that isn't visual will be 66% possible Het. Okay? For example, if I take two Het Whitblets, any, any dragon that doesn't come out visually Whitblet is 66% possible Het Whitblet. All right? Hope I'm not confusing you guys there. I'm going to let you think about that for a second. And while you do, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of the water and into their enclosure so they can warm up. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Okay. So again, we have this hypo trans Whitblet. You can see it's starting to color up. You can see that citrus in it now. So they're heating up here in their enclosure. They're loving the enclosure space. Okay, now, <clears throat> we want to produce a whitblet, but all we have is 66% possible head whitblets, like these guys right here, okay? These non-whitblets, so like that guy, okay? So how do I prove out my 66% possible head whitblet? Yeah, you, buddy. How do I prove you out? Let me tell you. What you want to do is pair this dragon, well, you know, the optimal way to do this would be to pair this dragon to a 100% het whitblet, okay? Now, especially when dealing with whitblets, now, with, with, you know, you wanna use het to hets to produce your visuals. When working with a gene like hypo or trans, you could, uh, you know, possibly pair a possible het to a, a visual trans or visual hypo, okay? But let's just keep it specific to the whitblet gene, okay? So I don't want you guys to get too, too confused. Like I said, I'll do more videos on this uh, to help you guys better understand what I'm talking about, but, <clears throat> in short, we're trying to produce a whitblet. We have a 66% possible head whitblet, like this guy right here, okay? And what we want to do optimally is pair him to a 100% head whitblet, like this guy right here, okay? These guys are 100% head whitblets, okay? So, proving out your 66% means that you'll find out if he is in fact, or she is in fact, Het Whitblet, okay? So 66% possible doesn't guarantee that your dragon is Whitblet, okay? It just means there's a possibility that they're, that they're Het Whitblet, that they're carrying the gene. 100% Het is guaranteed to be carrying the gene, okay? And a 100% Het is produced by pairing a visual dragon to any other dragon, okay? So for example, let's say we're still talking about the Whitblet gene. I take a visual Whitblet, like my boy Logo right here. I take a visual Whitblet like Logo, and then I pair him to a non-visual bearded dragon. And it could be any, any, you know, any type of dragon, as long as they're not a Whitblet. The offspring will be 100% head Whitblet because one of the parents was, in fact, a Whitblet, okay? So again, your 66 percenters are a result of taking two 100% hats and pairing them together. Let's say Whitblet. I take two head Whitblets, okay? I pair them together. Any offspring that doesn't come out visually Whitblet will be 66% possible head Whitblet, okay? Now, to produce 100% head Whitblets, it means one of the parents must actually be visual for the gene whiplet, meaning visually expressing it like this guy right here. What's going on, man? How you feeling? You okay? I know you hate the camera. It's okay. I'm just making a movie. You're a star. You're a star. Relax. Now, again, when pairing my 66% of right here to a 100% head, it doesn't mean that I'm going to get visual whiplets. What it means is I'll find out if my 60 per six, my 66 percenter is actually, in fact, Het Whitblet. OK, now, how will you know if any of the offspring from that pairing come out as visual Whitblets? Now, your 66 percenter is no longer considered a 66 percent possible Het Whitblet, but just a whip. I mean, but just a Het Whitblet or 100 percent Het Whitblet, if you prefer to call it that. OK. OK, so let's take this pairing, for example. All right. 
This is Jumpman Jr., a.k.a. Uh, MJ Jr., son of uh, Jumpman, a.k.a. MJ, and Tunchi. okay? Now, <clears throat> he is a 100% head whiplet, okay? His mom was a whiplet. That's what makes him 100% head whiplet. His dad was completely unrelated to whiplet gene. He had no whiplet genes. But because his mom was a visual whiplet, he is 100% head whiplet, all right? So to give you his full genetics, he is a translucent, as you can see, black eyes, neonish red color. He is a translucent visual stripe, as you can see his visual stripe, not a genetic stripe, okay? We'll get into that on another uh, video. But he's a translucent visual stripe, 100% head whitblit, 66% possible head hypo, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, 50% possible Head hypo male. Okay. Now, let me sing, explain to you how we got those genetics, okay? He's translucent because his dad was trans and his mom was head trans, thus producing him visually trans. There's no need to explain how he is what he is visually because we can see those indicators. Like I said, the black eyes. Uh, when he was smaller, he had the blue belly, but at this stage, it's more so just the neonish color, more saturated color, which is not always a uh, guaranteed indicator, but it's it's usually pretty consistent amongst translucents, okay? He's 100% head whiplet because, as I explained, his mom was a visual whiplet. So when you cross a visual to anything, the offspring are automatically 100% head for whatever their recessive gene is, whether it be whiplet, trans, zero, etc., okay? And he's possible head hypo, 50%, because his dad was a head hypo, but his mom did not carry the hypo gene at all. All right? Now, this girl over here is a 100% triple head. She's 100% head hypo, 100% head translucent, 100% uh, head whiplet. So obviously, one of her parents was a hypo, one of her parents was translucent, one of her parents was also a whiplet, okay? Now, what I'm trying to get from these two is optimally hypotrans whiplets. Okay? I'm guaranteed to get some transes because he's trans and she's head trans. Okay? So what happens is I'm going to get transes, and because he's a visual trans, any offspring that isn't visually translucent will be 100% head translucent. Okay? I'm guaranteed to get some whiplets because he is a head whiplet, and she is a het whitblit. Okay? Now, any offspring that isn't visually whitblit will be 66% possible het whitblit. Okay? And as I explained to you earlier, 66 percenters are the result of crossing a het to a het. Okay? Any offspring that doesn't come out visually expressing the gene is now 66% possibly het carrier of the gene. Okay? And last but not least... I hope to produce some hypos. I'm basically trying to prove him out for the hypo gene. He's a 50% possible het hypo, but she is a 100% het hypo, okay? So if any of their offspring comes out hypo, he is officially het hypo. No longer will he be considered 50%. He is officially 100% or a proven het hypo, okay? And now there's no guarantee that I'll get hypo trans whitblits because that would, you know, that's a whole nother, uh, what's the word? Odds. That's, that's a whole nother set of odds in itself. But it's a guarantee that I'll get some transes. It's a guarantee that I'll get some whitblits, okay? So, yeah, like I said, I hope, that, I hope that explains it a little better for you guys. So that's how proving uh, dragons out works as far as het, visuals, etc. All right, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys. Uh, like I said, I'll do more videos for you guys on uh, genetics, pairing dragons, etc. Um, you know, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment in the comments below to let me know how you felt about the video. If you have any questions, is there if there's anything you want me to address uh, in particular, any video ideas you have that you think will be helpful to you or other people will enjoy, please feel free to leave them in the comments, guys. I appreciate all of you tuning in. In the meantime and in between time, you know, peace, love, Pagonas.
Savannah. 